Let's take a look how to make this pixel glitch text here in After Effects. And I'm gonna start with this animation. If you wanna check out how to make this, I also gotta leave a link in the description. By the way, my composition size is 1080p, 30 frames per second, four seconds. So as you can see, we got this animated text on this text composition. So let's go to the project. And here I'm gonna create a new composition. I'm gonna call this gradient. I'm also gonna make it four seconds. Click OK. Let's go to the gradient and right click, click on new and select solid. Click OK. Let's go to effects and presets, type in gradient ramp. And drag it on the solid. You also can change up the position of the gradient. I'm gonna select this guy right here. And with this, you can click and customize it that way. Click somewhere here to deselect. And I also gonna go and select the ellipse tool. And I'm gonna create an ellipse like this. Let's go to effects and presets, type in Gaussian blur. And drag it on the shape layer, increase the blurriness. And also make sure to uncheck repeat edge pixels. I'm also gonna scale this up and I'm gonna position it somewhere here. And I'm gonna make this start from this point, somewhere on two seconds. I'm gonna duplicate it, press Control D, and I'm gonna bring it here. And I'm also gonna bring the sphere somewhere here and recolor it to white. Now from here, let's go back to the composition with the text. Let's go back to the project and drag and drop the gradient into the project. And I'm also gonna uncheck the gradient layer. A right click here, new, and select adjustment layer, a right click rename. This is gonna be displacement. Let's go to effects and presets, type in time displacement, and drag it on the displacement layer. And let's go to the settings and change it up to gradient. I'm gonna to go to the max displacement. I'm gonna decrease it to 0 0.6. Time resolution is gonna be 27.8. And as you can see, it is going to look something like this. And the beginning part is already glitchy, so I don't want that. And I'm gonna go here to the time resolution, activate the stopwatch. I'm gonna copy paste this value. I'm gonna select it, press Control C, and I'm gonna decrease it to zero. And I'm gonna go and bring this all the way to the second second. And I'm gonna go and copy paste it back. So this way it's gonna start clean like this. I'm also gonna go to the effects and presets, type in mosaic drag it under the time displacement, activate sharp colors. I gotta go with 95 by 50. Now let's go down, right click, new. Let's create a new adjustment, right click, rename. This is gonna be the glow. I gotta go to the effects and presets. I also gonna search for the simple choker, drag it under the mosaic, increase it. I gotta go with four, 4.80. I also gonna search for glow, drag it under the simple choker, and let's go to glow radius. I'm gonna increase it to 90. I'm also gonna go to the glow intensity, decrease it to 0 0.6. And I'm gonna go back to the project here, right click new composition. This is gonna be the final comp. Click OK. And let's go and drag and drop the text composition into the final composition. Go to effects and presets, search for posterize, and drag it under the text layer, and decrease it with 15. And I gotta go to the effects and presets, search for shift channels and drag it under the posterize time. Now let's go down to the layers and I'm gonna duplicate it twice. Press Control D, Control D again. And I'm gonna rename it. This is gonna be the R, G, and the B. I'm gonna click on the red. Let's go to shift channel and deactivate the blue, turn off, and deactivate the green, turn off. Let's go to the green, deactivate the blue, and deactivate the red. Now I'm gonna go to the blue deactivate the green and deactivate the red as well. I'm gonna select all these three layers. Let's go to the blend mode and I'm gonna change it to add. If you don't have the blend modes, you can go and click on the toggle switch. So this is gonna make it appear or disappear. Now what I'm gonna do is select one of these layers, the second one, and let's delay it with one frame. Now I'm gonna select the first layer and this one is gonna be delayed with two frames. Now I'm gonna select all the three layers and bring it back where it basically starts here. Well, let's go to the end and I'm gonna bring this in the work area with two frames. So now if I hit play, it is going to look something like this. And pretty much that's how I make this pixelated glitchy effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.